My mother abhorred the family tradition of buffet-style one-day feast, then starved the next day. She humiliated herself after eating the unripe guava fruits still on the tree. That's not right. If they rationed the food up to a period, it could have been better, as what her Ilocano father used to do. That gave her a hunch of a looming reality. My mother relayed that message to my father. The way my mother said it, that was the first mature statement my father heard from my mother. My father didn't know how to discuss that. My mother had grown up, but doing that customary feast-a-day routine of his family was beyond him. You need to find a job. We can't stay here long, my mother said. Now my father was in a dilemma. Hitch on my mother's appeal was a burden. Yeah, okay, my father said, just to appease my mother's story. But nothing happened. Meanwhile, my mother continues to spend her month's pension for their food. My father always gone out on the pretext he was looking for a job and only come home during supper. Now it occurred to my mother she shouldn't tarry anymore to get her siblings pulled out from Atenan's house as she promised. My Lolo Valentin sympathized with my mother's predicament. She asked for my Lolo's help to push his son finding a house for them to buy. Lolo Valentin did that. My father couldn't refuse to follow my Lolo because his naked butt is on the line. His butt suffered whips walking from my Lolo, and this feared my father to the max. My father was a social animal. He has lots of friends, and they help him to find an Ipa hut and move it to a relative's compound in Concepcion. My mother feed the hut for 800 pesos. Now my mother and her sisters live together in one room. She was ecstatic. She got only one problem. My father. My father and Philo's friendship renewed when the latter went back to Baliwag. Philo gets sacked from his job. They hang out together, serenading women. Philo played a guitar and cymbals and sang. The cymbals, Philo played it with a band during Hearst Parade on a funeral procession. He earned extra money for doing that. I understand you need a job, Philo said. Here's your chance. Learn how to play cymbals under Maestro Anno, known as Maestro Luzino Benaventura, a pioneer band instructor in Bolivar, and earn money. My father said, thanks, but no thanks, and he laughed it off. Nanaturing my mother's twin sister detested my father's being an idler. My mother received a mouthful of invectives from her. Where is that that you said a male figure can protect us? I can't find that from a preloader husband of yours. He only gets home to eat, change clothes and sleep. We don't need him here. We can leave by ourselves. Hurt by the truth, my mother had no recourse but to rot my father's out to my Lolo Balintin. Lolo Valentin called them together at their mansion. Tinai, watch how I will castigate my son. The vitriolic litany of my father's sins in front of my mother cringes my father. He looked down. My mother, as she watched, my father had a mixed sentiment. On one hand, she hoped my Lolo Valentin lectures penetrate in my father's skull. But on the other hand, that weird punishment which highlighted my father's disfigured face, look funny. Now you know the drill, ready your butt, Lolo Valentin ordered my father. A simple butt whacking was easy. My father had been used to it, but it's an ego downer in front of my mother. Tai, please don't shame me, begged my father. Now you know what shame is. Remove your clothing, everything. Reluctantly, my father followed. Had it been in other circumstances, it's nice being naked in front of a woman. But not at this instant. It's nerve-wracking shameful. 
My father got a good whacking from my Lolo Valentin, yet he restrained himself not to cry despite his disfigured face. Now listen to this. If you don't straighten your act, I'll rip you in public. Let's see. I'll be excited to see that, my Lolo Valentin said.